Hello everyone, here I am Dr. Bin Kumar going to give another important lecture on uh, and for more information you can uh, visit my Facebook page and uh, Twitter also for more update of the agriculture as well as the video lecture and for getting more video you can also subscribe me on my YouTube channel on which you are watching. So correlation, so here the first uh, of all we have to understand what is the correlation. It is a systematic relationship between the two variable or more continuous variable and that is termed as a correlation and if there is only two variables for example x and y then it is termed as your simple correlation and if there is more than two variables then it is termed as a multiple correlation so how the correlation is behaving either is a positively or negatively so on the basis of that we can see the correlation may be or your positive correlation it is also called as a direct correlation or it can be also your correlation, negative, negative correlation or inverse correlation and third will, will be your no correlation fourth will be your either it will be curvilinear or non-linear correlation so first we will start from the positive correlation say what is the positive correlations and direct correlation Suppose here I have taken the example of the nitrogen content in leaf and chlorophyll content in leaf. If the nitrogen content is increasing in leaf, simultaneously the chlorophyll content will also increase because nitrogen is a very important component of the chlorophyll and that bring, brings or impart the greenness in the uh, leaf. So if we see the sc scatter diagram of this positive correlation, so you will see that there is a linearly increment in the x and y variable and that will be continuously increasing means if suppose x is increasing then continuously y will also increase that is why it is called continuous increment in the two variable and if you see the negative correlation so it is also called your inverse correlation if here we take the example of insect infestation and crop yield whenever the yield infestation of crop uh, pest will increase then the other side in crop there will be increment uh, decrease in the yield so this is called your uh, negative correlation or inverse correlation see if you want to see the scatter diagram of this so you can see that the negatively correlated scatter diagram will be look like this means it is a uh, y variables is decreasing whenever the x variables is increasing means when the pest infest infestation will increase definitely the yield will decrease and if the, your scatter diagram was showing like this means uh, very confined to a one place means it indicate there's two variable having a no correlation between themselves so it is called no correlation the sun after that it is needed to uh, find out the correlation coefficient why it is needed to find out the correlation coefficient more in most of the statistics we use the correlation coefficient in, instead of only correlation it is because uh, if you see the nitrogen content in uh, leaf and chlorophyll content in leaf when correlation say that when nitrogen content increases in the leaf so same time chlorophyll content also increase but it not gives a clear cut picture or a relation degree of how much uh, degree of relationship between in this two variable so correlation coefficient indicate that in the it is index you can see here the index of degree of relationship between the two variables so from this you can very easily predict the how much both the variable how uh, they are related to each other that's why I mean most most of the statistic, uh, statistical analysis we use correlation coefficient and it was developed by the Carl Pearson that's why sometimes it is called as a Pearson coefficient and sometimes also you can say that is a product moment correlation means uh, at each unit of the increment of a x variable how much increment of the y variable so it is you can say that product moment correlation so it will have some assumption of the correlation coefficient means variable under the 
uh, study are continuously random variable and they are normally distributed the variable must be uh, random and that would be uh, your in continuous nature and the relationship between the variable would be linear means correlation coefficient will always have the linear correlation either is positive or your negative okay and each pair of observation is unconnected with the other pair suppose this is the x and y so x and other pair would be like x z but they the each pair would be the different from the other pair and if you see the properties of the correlation coefficient it is a your unit free means means it is not having any unit of the correlation coefficient and that's why it is then in between the minus 1 to plus 1 a perfectly correlated uh, uh, variables would, would have one correlation and if it, it will be having a negative means it will be having minus uh, uh, 0.89 like that and correlation coefficient is not affected by your you always remember that or either origin or your scale or by both so i hope you enjoyed and you understand what is the correlation coefficient what was its assumption and its properties and if you enjoyed then you can subscribe me on in this youtube channel for more videos in the future